I'm in Legacy Gym to basically show you not an entire workout, not a full body workout or any particular muscle group, but I think it's going to be most beneficial to you if I show you some of the key exercises that you guys can incorporate into your workout to get the most out of what you do. So really I'm going to show you weak point training, specialized areas that you can focus on with a few simple variations or manipulations of well-known exercises and a few new ones thrown in there so that you can really get the most out of your gym workouts in addition to the nutrition and the healthier lifestyle changes that we spoke about earlier. Okay, great, follow me and let's get started. exercise that I'm going to go through is a wide grip pull down but I'm going to show you a few different variations on the grip and how to do the exercise to make sure we work in the back in the best way that we can and make sure we work all of the muscle groups within this one exercise. The first grip that we're going to do is just a wide overhand grip. When you grip the bar I want to make sure your wrist is directly in line with your elbow and it's at a right angle to your shoulder. You should be pulling down so that the bar's like this. And that makes the muscle that we're working that much more effective during the exercise than having our body out of alignment. This is just the warm up. Now I can already feel the muscles starting to warm up and getting that blood, bit of a pump into my back. But I'm gonna add a bit more weight now and make that muscle work even harder before I start to enter into my main work set. So it's all about progression and building up in small stages. Okay, great, I can feel my back starting to get a pump on now. The blood is starting to build in there, my muscles are warming up, and as you can hear, I'm really starting to exaggerate my breathing. That means when I pull the weight down on the lift, the exertion, that's when I put the most stress on my muscle, I'm really gonna breathe out. What does that do? Well, A, it gives me power and strength, but more importantly, it tightens my core. It brings my diaphragm up as I breathe out, squeezing all of my core muscle groups here, which keeps me planted down and allows me a really good foundation to then use my back muscles, squeezing them in, really contracting them hard, pulling that weight down in good control. Okay, first work set here. Now, repetition-wise, what we're trying to achieve is not pure muscle mass. So we're aiming for a little bit higher repetitions than purely for size. What does that mean? It means we're aiming for the repetition range of no more than 10 to 12 and no less than perhaps eight reps. So if you aim for 10 repetitions, that should mean you are failing on that ninth rep. What does muscle failure mean? Well, basically exactly as it sounds, it means your muscles have failed. They can no longer complete another repetition with good form or technique. The idea is to pyramid, and by that I mean as we decrease the repetitions, we're gonna increase our weight. We want the muscles to get stronger. And the only way our muscles are gonna get stronger is if we push them a little bit further beyond what they're used to. It's stress on the body, and that's exactly what we're trying to place on it by increasing the weight. Okay, first work set here. Again, I'm using a wide grip, wrists are over the elbows, and I'm keeping an upright posture. I'm basically keeping my shoulders in line with my hips, but keeping my chest lifted up high, nice and proud. Therefore, I'm squeezing the center muscles in my back, as you'll see, and really hitting the focus part of the back, the inner part of the back, working the latissimus dorsi, the rhomboids, and part of the inner back low down as well, as you'll see.
Great set. Good control, good tempo, good speed. What that means is I'm not building up any momentum when I'm lifting. About two seconds down and the same up, although I was going a little bit faster for that demonstration. Now a variation I'm going to add is to change my grip. There's several different bars or apparatus that you can use, but I'm sticking with the straight bar. What I'm going to do now is change my grip to a close underhand grip, so it's far more of a pull down than a lift down, if you like, which is going to change the focus of the muscle group working to the inner part of the back. As you'll see, there's a big difference when I lift inner to outer grip, and I also have a lot more strength keeping the grip closer together. So with this one, I pull down, keeping my chest high again, elbow scrape the side of my body, and if anything, keeping my shoulders leaned back just a little bit further to keep the focus on the center of the back. Already I'm feeling my back really start to get a pump on. That's a great exercise, nicely warmed up. Now let's move on and I'll show you more of a lift exercise for the back before we continue with the rest of the body parts. Okay.